In this second example, we're told that we have three numbers here in geometric sequence, and we're asked to find what that middle number, that x, must be. Now, this is a little bit different to some of the other questions we might have seen. Uh, with this particular problem, we need to think about what do we know about geometric sequences and, and how to determine things about them. So let's have a think here. Uh, what do we know? We know the first term. We know that a is equal to 3. We don't know what the common ratio is. Okay. We do know what the, well, we kind of know what the second term is. The second term is x, that's what we're trying to find. And the third term is 75. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about this information that we have uh, and try and determine you know, what's our value of x ultimately. So let's write down what we know uh, know about some of these terms. So this third term, let's work with that. That's an, an extra piece of information that we have that we can hopefully draw in. The third term being 75, well, how could I determine the third term? One way that I could do it, if I knew what the common ratio was, was to multiply along the sequence. So the third term we know from the nth term of a geometric sequence has to be a times r squared. I don't know what r is yet, but I do know that um, you know if I multiplied by a by r squared, I would have to get this third term, this 75. So let's have a look at that and see if we can work with it. Well, I know what my a term is. My a term is 3. So let's put that into this equation. 75 is equal to 3r squared. Now if I solve this equation, I should be able to find what r is. So let's do that. I'm going to divide by 3. And so 25 equals r squared. And then I'm going to take the square root. And we have to be careful here. Okay, I actually have to take the plus and the minus square root. So minus 5 or 5 are both options for the common ratio. I don't know whether x is positive or negative, so either of these uh, could be a possibility. Okay, so if r is minus 5 or 5, that will allow me to find my x. So we're actually going to have two solutions, and we should state that clearly over here. If x is uh, it's not x, if r, okay, so if for this sequence the common ratio is positive 5, well then x is going to be a times r, which is 3 times 5, or 15. Uh, if, on the other hand, the common ratio is negative 5, then we're going to have x equal to 3 times minus 5, and it's going to be minus 15. So either way, x is going to have a magnitude of 15, but it could be positive or it could be negative, and these would still be in geometric sequence.